May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you and your family. As we celebrate our shared faith and love in Christ, we want to extend our heartfelt greetings to all our brothers and sisters in Christ. In times like these, when we stand united in faith, we find strength, comfort, and joy in knowing that we are part of a larger, loving community. It is with a heavy heart that we must share the sorrowful news that Our Lady, in her divine wisdom and urgency, has chosen to manifest herself and deliver a profound and urgent message to the people of America. To ensure that as many people as possible see this video, kindly take a moment to share this video and subscribe to this channel. May this message touch your heart and help to bring you close to the conversation of souls and the conversion of sinners. If you believe so, please type Amen. A breath of prayer in the morning means a day of blessing sure, a breath of prayer in the evening means a night of rest and security. Before coming to the main part of this video, let's join us and pray together, Jesus, I believe you are the Son of God, that you died on the cross to rescue me from sin and death and to restore me to the Father. I choose now to turn from my sins, my self-centeredness, and every part of my life that does not please you. I choose you. I give myself to you. I receive your forgiveness and ask you to take your rightful place in my life as my Savior and Lord. Come reign in my heart, fill me with your love and your life, and help me become a truly loving person like you. Restore me, Jesus. Live in me. Love through me. Thank you, God. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you all my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day, in union with the holy sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world, in reparation for my sins, for the intentions of all my associates, and in particular for the intentions of the Holy Father this month. Amen. The significance of this divine visitation lies in the gravity of the message she brings, urging all Americans to come together in unity and prayer, to seek reconciliation and harmony. Now, the message will be shared with all of you, beloved children of my Immaculate Heart, I bless you with my love, I bless you with my fiat. You must make the decision to turn away from sin, everything that weakens your mental and physical faculties, your ideas, and your heart. To correct any lapses in your detachment from the worldly, the wicked, and bad habits, you must make a clear decision and a firm goal. When the appetites of the flesh and the senses are given free reign, the tyranny of the human self becomes powerful. Beloved children of my heart, this will be sad news for America, I don't want to scare you and make you frightened but I have to warn you for you to prepare. America will face a huge chaos and shocking event. For a long time, humans always have had to face many challenges from nature and now is also like that. A big and frightening gift from nature is coming to the world and America will live in chaos. That day will come in August, the winds begin to howl, and raindrops will fall like tears from the heavens. The sea, which had once been the source of joy, that time it will churn and roar as if mirroring the turmoil. When this hurricane reaches the land of America, it will claim millions of lives to death. Secondly, America will have to face another challenge, the White House will be in danger because of the attack from a mysterious force. On that day, in the heart of the United States, the nation's capital will stand proudly, with the iconic White House symbolizing the resilience and strength of America. However, as the sun sets on a seemingly ordinary day, an ominous air will settle upon the city, foreboding the imminent arrival of an unprecedented threat. News of a mysterious force lurking in the shadows will spread like wildfire, leaving citizens puzzled and fearful. 
The government will work tirelessly to decipher the nature of this enigmatic adversary, but their efforts will only lead to more questions than answers. Whispers of ancient prophecies and unexplainable phenomena will echo through the halls of the White House, adding to the growing tension. As the fateful night approaches, an eerie silence will engulf the city. The White House stands illuminated like a beacon, a symbol of hope in a world that will be threatened by uncertainty. In the shadows, the mysterious force will begin to reveal itself. It will materialize as an ethereal energy, shrouded in darkness, and leave an eerie trail wherever it roams. The nation will watch with bated breath, unable to comprehend the true nature of this enigma. The President of America in the White House and the people in this country must be careful in August. As a mother I would like to speak to you only of the greatness of heaven, but at this moment I must speak of what is approaching and can lead you to fall. You must adapt to this state of already and become ready to become completely different beings. In response to human discontent, violence is rising and causing havoc in several nations. I'm calling you to worship my Divine Son, to pray, and to be a brotherhood because of this. Giving what you do not have within you will not be successful. My children, you need to live in adoration of my Son so that you may pass this on to your brothers and sisters before it is too late. I love you. I bless you and protect you. Psalm 107 verse 29 He made the storm be still, and the waves of the sea were hushed. This verse highlights God's authority over the elements and His ability to calm even the most powerful storms. While it may not specifically mention hurricanes, it conveys the idea that God is in control of nature and can bring peace to chaotic and tumultuous situations. With hearts overflowing with love and joy, we extend a warm invitation to all of you, our cherished members of the faith community, to join hands and hearts in a sacred gathering of prayer and devotion. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Thank you for watching till the end of our video. Our brothers and sisters, without fear and with more faith than in the past, let us continue in faith. Stay blessed and continue to pray for God to show all of us his graces and blessings. God bless us and protect us. Amen.